Okay. <laughs> oh my god. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Izzy and this is my weird channel that I just talk about the randomest things. And if you're back on another video, well, welcome back to my weirdness. And by the title of the video, you can see that I have been off Instagram for four months. Yeah, it has been. Hi. Sorry guys, I had to change location because that gentleman that I've seen like going to leave and he was making noise in the background so I had to come to a different floor but yeah moving on it's been actually officially two days after I think four months currently that I've been off Instagram um, it is really hard to believe for some people that you, they could be off Instagram because Instagram could be very very addicting and I was there when I actually got off Instagram you know how naturally when you're bored there's nothing to do um, I don't know if there's something on TV or you're done reading your book or you're done hanging out with your friends or when you're in a social gathering to avoid an awkward situation you just go on your phone you just go on Instagram you just flip, just flip through Instagram and or like to avoid eye contact whatever there were so many times where I wanted to go on Instagram and just flip through because of boredom or a certain situation I was in and I would be like wait I don't have Instagram I what? <laughs> You don't know you're addicted to it, but secretly you actually are kind of addicted to Instagram and the social life it creates in the app. Being just entertained all by all, by all these videos, all these beautiful people posting beautiful outfits and just, you know, a variety of things that you're interested in. I feel like Instagram, in a way it's good, in a way it's bad. So every year, I take a break off Instagram. This is the longest break I've taken. I take usually a week off Instagram or two weeks off Instagram or maximum like a month off Instagram. But this time I just went all out because once I was off Instagram for more than a month, I was really enjoying my life and the mental state I was in and not having to constantly go on Instagram to just look at... It's a hero me. Or was it hero me? Go away. Not having to constantly look at Instagram, I would fulfill that moment, fulfill that little, ti little tiny time being that I was in with something else other than Instagram. Something better, I would say. But for some people, it's really hard. Like you can't get off Instagram because this is sometimes your main income because of the maybe the outfits you advertise, the brands you're an ambassador for. But for some people, it's not as easy to get off Instagram because I know, trust me, I know deep down, no matter if you want to deny it, if you don't want to deny it, everyone in a way is tired of the pressure that Instagram puts on you. One example would be the pressure of having to post, post something like that, just that. And especially when you're famous on Instagram, people get bored very easily. If you haven't noticed, human beings, as time progresses, their attention span just becomes shorter and shorter and shorter and shorter and shorter. And they get bored very easily. If an account is really nice when you look at it and they follow it and they realize they don't post as often, they're gonna unfollow that person. Trust me. And it's this pressure of having to constantly post, this pressure of having to constantly entertain your followers um, so you can maintain that followers or even gain followers or gain even more followers than you already have. Honestly, someone for like me. I'm not famous on Instagram, but I do sometimes feel like I, in a way, I feel pressured by like having to post. I wouldn't say constantly, but you know, often enough for my followers to be entertained because I noticed when I wouldn't pose, I would get unfollowed. And I'm like, yeah, I don't know what kind of mind state you're in, but I ain't. I never unfollowed people because of that. I never unfollowed anyone unless they unfollowed me. And if I unfollowed you, I probably don't want to be friends with you anymore. That's because of why I unfollowed you first. But I don't really do that. I actually block people. So we don't follow each other both. So you don't stay following me because I feel that's really petty and stupid. I will do both of the job for us. Another example would be the sense of freedom. Like as, I don't know, some people might listen to this and be like, what are you talking about sense of freedom? Like we do have freedom. But no, when you're on Instagram, you don't. So. The sense of freedom, I mean, the freedom of looking, doing whatever you want on that app or even outside of that app. Because when on Instagram, you are pressured to look a certain way and feel pressured to post in a certain way and feel pressured to post often enough and 
post entertaining stories enough or the activity or the activities activities you do outside of your social life to make yourself look a certain way on Instagram about your social life and how your social life is or in general how your life is because I swear like I go outside and I see people hanging out and whatever and they take at least ha not half their time but majority of their time taking pictures and posing a certain way so they can post it on Instagram and look good and create this idea of their life that they want their followers to have some people have that life don't get me wrong some people have it but I'm talking about the people who create that kind of image for themselves and for their followers about their life and it is kind of like tiring to be that way on Instagram because you look better if you post that way you look better if you make your life seem that way you're encouraged to promote this kind of life of yours on Instagram you're encouraged to look a certain way on Instagram for people to like you more for people to follow you for people to want to watch you and people are just so pressured by have by wanting people say clout nowadays it's the first time i'm using that word or people say clout people want clout it feels weird to say it but people want clout really bad on instagram people want to be famous on instagram because they see all these famous people and the life they have when they start making on instagram and they want that which i don't blame them because what people want are different and there's nothing wrong with that. You can want what you want, whatever makes you happy. You can't 100% do you because it might seem kind of boring to other people. And then you see your followers like go down. You spend most of your time taking pictures just for Instagram, just for your followers. Like if you're famous, yeah, do that, cool. Making money off it. But if you're not, you want to make it to that. Maybe you put some of your time in there so you can actually live life and not constantly do it for Instagram. I don't, honestly, I don't know if that makes sense. I hope that makes sense. I really do. I hope it makes sense. I really do. I hope it makes sense. I really do. I, I really do hope that makes sense to you guys. Outside of Instagram, I don't wear makeup all the time, obviously, because it's got life. I wear makeup sometimes and sometimes I don't. And I see people that I haven't seen for a while. And they might see me at the time that I'm not wearing makeup. And I don't care. I will say hi to you. But if you try to avoid me because of how you look, because I've had that. Like I've had girls literally avoid me and act like they don't see me because of the way they look. Because not that they look bad, no. To themselves, they think they look bad. To themselves, they think that they don't like how they look right now because of the way I have been seeing them for a while on Instagram because I haven't seen them in person for a while. That they're like, oh my God, shoot, she's here. Oh my god, no, I need to hide because, you know, I look like this. No, dude, you look beautiful. Who cares? I will come up I'm, I will come up to you and say hi and not even make you feel like, you know, oh, I've, I've seen you look like this on Instagram while I look like this in person. No, it's called life. You don't freaking look like that all the time, obviously. It's just for Instagram. I would come up and say hi to you and ask you, how are you doing? And I would want to just see how you're doing how how was how everything i haven't seen you for a while and that's all so i would see people and i wouldn't care the people who will like what they see and not judge or think a certain way they're the one who matter people who are like you don't look like your instagram pictures even though i do obviously but you don't look like your instagram pictures i'll be like first of all who are you second of all you don't really matter in my life so your opinion is like in the garbage start not caring that's what I'm trying to say. Start not giving a poop about what people think, what people might think, what people will think, what people want. Just do you. Live your life the way you want to live your life. Let people see the real you and the Instagram you. When it's time to see the real you, you are not afraid. When it's time to see a certain side of you that's not perfect, you're not afraid when it's time to you do not look like an Instagram picture you wouldn't be afraid that's what I mean and that is in a way happiness and freedom if you think about it I know it's weird freedom is such a big word to use actually it is a big word if you think about it to use in this video or about this topic but it makes sense 
if you actually think about it. It also gives another freedom of not having to post on your story every single time you're doing something. Every single time people are doing something, they feel like they have to post it. Even if it's of the sky, even if it's of a building. They take these artistic looking pictures to just make their story look good, make their, make their Instagram look good. Or just, I don't know, not even really show off, but just say what they're doing, say where they're at. Because they feel the need to do so constantly, having to post what you're doing and not being in the moment. Like, I've done so, so many activities. I vlog like most of them, but not all of them. But I do so many activities. And honestly, I don't have to post them. I don't need to let people know what I'm doing. I don't need to let people know or show people this is what I'm doing. My life is great. I'm doing this. I'm doing that. No, I'm in the moment. I'm not on my phone taking pictures, pretty pictures constantly so I can post. I'm living in the moment. I'm enjoying the beauty of life. I'm enjoying the beauty of the activity I'm doing. I'm enjoying what the activity is supposed to make me feel in the moment. Because when you're there and you're taking pictures, the moment's kind of like gone, like not gone, but like you're not entirely there. Like your mind is somewhere else. You're taking pictures and it's just, you're not living in the moment. You've been like so many times, but you're living in the moment. That's what I mean when I say there's no sense of freedom when it comes to Instagram. Some people actually don't care. Like they just post whatever they want. They do whatever they want. They look however they want. And honestly, kudos to you. Kudos for not caring. Keep, keep promoting that mental state that people need to be in in terms of life and what they post also another funny ridiculous thing it determines if you're friends with someone or not yeah like it's really disgusting and weird but if you were friends with someone at some point they followed you and you guys are following each other and then at some point you guys i don't know the person unfollows you that determines that you guys are not friends anymore. Like, I don't know how that came into play, but it naturally just came into play like for everyone. And it's, it's really weird and it just sucks because now you're gonna determine our friendship on an app. If you don't follow me, that means we're not friends. Like that is the weirdest thing ever. Imagine back then, this was not like this. If you just weren't friends with someone, you just wouldn't talk to them. Back then it was just so much more simpler. And it made more sense. Things these days don't make sense. Also, I'm very glad that I took my Instagram off at the right time, especially during this whole pandemic and the virus going around because I don't get to see any of the stuff that everyone is seeing. I don't get to see the chaos on Instagram that everybody's seeing. Like I was so glad when this pandemic started and everything started shutting down that I was on Instagram because most people, actually a lot of people, they had to stay home. Everything was closed. They had nothing to do. So imagine the amount of time I would have spent on Instagram. Imagine the amount of things I would have had to see about this pandemic. Like it's already not enough living with the pandemic, like having it happen already. But seeing other things too, spending my time the way I shouldn't be spending it too. Like it's just, I am so thankful that I took it off. And yeah, after this video, maybe after a couple of days, I'm gonna think about it. But I'm probably going to get my Instagram back because I feel like I've come to a really good place. And I guess it's time to get it back. But I will be getting it back the way I want. There's gonna be a lot of people. I'm gonna block. If you see this video and you're not on my Instagram because I just don't feel like you need to be in my life anymore. There's no use for you in my life. But yeah, this whole four months been wonderful without it. I've been living life. All I'm saying is do you. F what other people want. F what they want to see. Don't care about what they want to see. Do you. Post whatever you want. Post whatever you like. Post what makes you happy. Post what you want people to see of you. If you're being in a way that, you, that you know, people are not on Instagram or people are not portraying about their own life, do that. Just do you. It makes you happier. It makes you even be more happier by your page. And the people who matter will like what you post, will continue to follow you. And people who don't matter, they will just unfollow you. And who cares if they do? Because when you, people like to see you being yourself. I don't want to say all, 
But some people, when they post a certain lifestyle on Instagram, that's not actually what they are doing. They're, it's just literally for show. That's not even how they look 24-7. Like, we know that. And I feel like movies and society create this false image of having to look all good all the time or certain way all the time. This sucks the pressure it's putting on people, people as a mental being don't care about who's going to unfollow you. People who matter will stay. People who matter will love everything you post. Even if you look like a garbage can, they will love you because why? It's you. I don't mean that people look like a garbage can. Every human being is beautiful just the way they are. I mean like in a funny way, like, you, like you're on your worst day and you posting something of yourself, people will love that. Like, it's you. I'm seeing you. Not an image you're creating in my head of you. So I'm seeing the real you. That's what I mean. <laughs> That's all I wanted to say, because I feel like not everybody is aware of it, so. I'm going to go inside because I'm starving and I'm really hungry, and I'm gonna go eat. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to have. I don't think I have a lot of options, but. I will make options, but then I won't eat it all. Yeah, can't spell for I'll just settle for Nutella. Probably, obviously, I'm not gonna go eat Nutella, but I will have Nutella after. My mom bought me two jars. <laughs> she, oh, she just knows the way to my heart. I swear, I didn't even tell her. And um, and I was craving Nutella, but I'm like, no. Sit down. You eat too much chocolate. Let's take a break today. She comes home with two jars of Nutella, and I'm like, oh, how did you know? Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hoped, I hoped, I hope I helped. I hope you guys understand what I mean about Instagram and the kind of control it has over people's lives. I hope I made sense, basically. And I will see you guys in the next video.